Sometimes an object will send multiple messages all at the same time to another object. These are different messages, but they're sent concurrently. In a communication diagram, you show that by adding letters to the numbering system that order, shows the order of the messages. So here we have a situation where a mom is handing a teenager a list of chores. And all at the same time, the mom is saying, clean room, take out trash, and walk dog. So those three messages get sent all at the same time. And as you see, they're numbered 1A, 1B, and 1C in order to show that. So to show parallel messages that are being sent concurrently from one object to another object, you use a lowercase letter after the number of the message to show that those messages are parallel. Now, as you may recall, in a sequence diagram, you would show this with an interaction frame. You would frame off the messages that get sent concurrently and use the parallel operator to show that these messages get sent at the same time. You saw this diagram in another movie where a thermostat sends heat house message to the furnace and the furnace sends itself two messages, turn on flames and turn on fan, and then returns a message of warm house to the thermostat. So to show this same information in a communication diagram, it would look something like this. You have the thermostat sending the heat house message, that's message number one. We have a self link here showing that message 2 is sent from the furnace to itself and we use that numbering system 2A turn on flames 2B turn on fan to show that the furnace sends itself those two messages at the same time in parallel and then it returns the house warm message to the thermostat. So communication diagrams make it a little bit easier to see messages that are parallel because rather than using an interaction frame, you simply use numbering to show that these multiple messages are all message number two or parts of message number two.